Hello and welcome to MGP 273. I'm Kev and with me as ever the sheepdog Anna and Pab. Say hello boys and girls. Hello. Hello. Did you two say hello at the same time again? Sorry, I only yes. heard one of yes. you. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Splendid. You either leave a massive pause or you both do it at the same time. We can't... I think we, we need to agree on an order. It's my fault that time, I think, because I paused for a split second thinking... Well, I wasn't really thinking. I just thought Anna would say hello, and I was trying to, I don't know, go around it. But I ended up waiting and then going over hers. Blame old cheap dog. We usually do. Yep. Good. How are we all on this fine evening? It's weird recording on a Friday again. It's been a while. Yeah. It's worked out nicely because I've had a chance to actually play some games this week. Like, not just at all. I've played some, but I've, I'm, you know, getting to play them a bit properly. I mean, it has been the busiest games week or games fortnight, really, since we've last done a show that we've probably yeah. had all year. We've got we've got games mm. pouring out of our nostrils this week. It's mad. So much so that we're going to struggle to have too much waffle before we get going because we need to get into all these games. But as ever, there's need for waffle. And it's to do with next week because next weekend, this time next week, in fact, we'll be down in London for comic-con so if you are in and around london or going to comic-con and you want to come to a little meet up at bodine's traditional bodine's meetup we're going to be there on the saturday night next week we haven't booked a table yet because you know how we roll but we will book a table this week probably going to book the table on monday so if you want to come we've got probably half a dozen people who've already said they're going to be coming in addition to us uh, but if you're wanting to add to that number, if you let us know, best bet is to let me know on Twitter before Monday. And then I'm going to try and get us a table booked for around about 7 p.m. on a Saturday night, Tower Hill Bodines. So even if you're not going to Comic-Con, you just want to come and say hello, buy Sheepdog a beer and all that kind of stuff, then uh, come along and say hello. It will be marvellous. Is that, is that an acceptable plug? Was that all right? Did yeah. that get the message across? Yeah. Obviously, if you're coming to Comic Con, then come and see us there as well. But we can't guarantee when we'll be there because we like to be a bit in and out when we go to Comic Con. Yeah, Anna, Anna, more out than than anyone this year because she's taking. I don't taken... think I'll be going to Comic Con at all. Well, you'll have to on the Sunday. You will. Be. <laughs> no. Yeah, you won't have any choice on the Sunday. I will. I will just go and find that place that. Angry John took us and go, can I hook up my PlayStation and then I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, because Anna's taking it. We're staying in an Airbnb this time rather than a hotel for the main for one main reason. That main reason is that Anna can take her PlayStation, hook it up to the TV in there and sit on the sofa all day on the Saturday while me and Pab and Sheepdog go and potter around Comic-Con and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah. Um, don't expect to see Anna in Comic-Con on the Saturday, but she'll... <laughs> She'll be there. She'll be there on the Sunday, and she'll be at the meal on the Saturday night. We'll we'll That'll force her, we'll we'll force her to put some clothes on and do her hair and come out of the flat. Some of the listeners are like, "Oh, don't make her put clothes on." <laughs> she'll just be there in her gym jams when we get back to the to the place. Try, right, come on, we've got dinner in twenty minutes. Please, <laughs> get, yeah. get get your shoes on. You're still wearing yesterday's makeup. Come on now. Yesterday's. Are we are we going to have to deliver you lunch and stuff? Are we going to have to come back halfway through the day with a subway <laughs> for you? Don't just told you bring me snacks. It's, she'll get just eat. Surely she'll just be like yeah, just eat or an Uber Eats. London, isn't it? Yeah, Uber Eat. All of them. <laughs> they can all just come. I, mean, I imagine if she plays her cards right, they'll all have special offers for the first order, and um, she can just have them stacked. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, that's our that's our plan for Comic Con, and. Now we need, and because of that, because of the fact it's a, a convention week, and the fact that we're recording on the Friday rather than the Wednesday, I think it's safe to assume there's not going to be a podcast next week because there's just uh, there almost certainly isn't going to be because if we if we're planning to record on Wednesday, I've got a sneaky feeling that's when the football manager beta comes out, and if it is, oh, you I, little I ain't going to be doing this. Um, it's also the day I think that Spurs play Madrid again, and I was thinking, oh no, I can't do. I can't do a podcast tonight. We're hosting Madrid in London. Um, that works out nice for me and all. Anna, remember, uh, what, remember what we said about muting when you were doing that? Oh, I forget. I thought you talked to me. I was like, I didn't do anything when, <laughs> when, I, when I get excited <laughs> about football. <laughs> um, so, oh, no. 
Let's get into talking about some games anyway. We've got a big pile of exciting new games to play, one of which Anna was just playing. So shall we start with the one that you're playing, Anna, which means you have to unmute, um, which is <laughs> Shadow of War, the new modder game. The new what now? Modder. Modder. What? Modder. modder. <laughs> you're annoying. That's the way we say it. You have to say it that way. Though. It is, though. So tell us all about Shadow of War, because you, both you and Sheepdog have played it, haven't you? Yeah, can I, just before we get it, I do feel quite glad we're recording on the Friday because when we sat to record it on Wednesday, and I'm going to be honest with the listeners here, um, I sat down and said to Kevin Anna, I've got a review copy of this, but I haven't been in all week. And <laughs> I was just like, oh, I can't review it. Um, but fortunately... At, at which point Anna said, we didn't get a review. We've had to pay for this. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it been a mess, yeah. Um, which I felt guilty about, but, you know, it all worked out in the wash in the end because the listeners wouldn't have heard this review any sooner. And um, I got to play the game before talking about it because that was going to be difficult, pretending I played it. What now? I was just going to agree with everything you said and say, oh, I really liked it. But um... but now he can tell you that he didn't like it. <laughs> no, I'm... Um... Just just because I, I, I want to start, to be honest, because you're playing already. Um, I am, I'm, not that's, I'm not massively far into it because I was stealthing around literally everything. I, I used to hate stealthy games. And the first game of this series, Shadow of Mordor, um, did the whole, uh, you know, it did, does the whole stealthing around, stabbing the orcs in the face and ripping out their souls and whatever. And um, I got really into it. So when I started this up, it felt like just slipping straight back into the groove of it. Um, I snuck around for ages doing that. Just Instead of killing orcs and anything that moved, I tried to just interrogate absolutely every single thing that moved, um, which is I've got some nice intelligence about the random orc leaders that are nearby. Um, but then I, I, I went and killed a few of them and followed, I think it was Idris Elba, Idris, something like that, um, through the is it Gondor. Oh, it's names, isn't it? Yeah, names of cities and <laughs> people. I don't know whether it just is a character that, later on in the series at all, but I had to chase after her and recruit people and um, understood all of their marketing, I think. You might be able to clarify this for me, but all of their marketing, from my eyes, was saying your decisions affect how people treat you in the game and they remember how you act. And I thought that orcs remembered how you acted and if you showed mercy on them or if you if you let them off the hook or whatever, they would join you and work with you. So I was being careful about who I killed while I was interrogating them and stuff like that. I kept thinking, I don't want to kill too many of these in case I need them or they help me later on. And then whilst fighting an orc, I was trying to interrogate him and he nearly killed me. And then one of Idris's mates just appeared from nowhere and, stabbed him in the eye and killed him dead and he said something like for Gondor and you know Toby hated orcs and I thought oh it's the humans that remember I helped them out and join me is it that makes more sense building an army of humans to fight orcs and not orcs to fight orcs which I, I found a bit of an odd concept um but is that the way around it is Anna do you recruit humans to your side no do you recruit orcs nope. that's all what um so the first Act is, I I would suggest just getting through that as quick as possible. Um, so you, I I had two areas open, and I I was going around for hours killing all the captains in in each area. Um, they replenish. They they never stay. They stay the the ones you killed stay dead, but then they off the positions are filled up again. Yeah. Um, I didn't know this for a long while. Um, I made that so, mistake with the first one, so I won't. Yeah. I refuse to make that this time. Um, so that's what I, I was doing, um, and then I heard that you need to get to Act Two, so I did that today. I only had like, I think I was on the last mission of the Act One um, the other day, but I gave up because I was tired and I couldn't bother. And then I finished that, and now I'm on Act Two. And my first mission in Act Two was to recruit a orc. I uh, and you have to like beat them down and then you have to dominate them. You can either kill them or dominate and I, I chose to dominate because that's what the mission basically it was a mini tutorial on how to do it. I did it and 
he was like, after you've done that, they're friendly to you. And it's like, I'm going to follow you, blah, blah, blah. Ah, there we go. So it is like I thought. I felt dumb for like the past No, few no. Hours. So, so there, is, there is humans, but you are fight. The first part is about helping them. But then the story goes on and you're like, oh, okay. So you've got to get orcs to, go, to help you against orcs, basically. So you, when you dominate them... Then you're they're your mates. They're like right, yeah. That's that's what it was always premised as. They remember what you how you act with them. Um, everyone remembers everything, kind of thing. And and mm-hmm. yeah, you can like I say, you could build. An, I, I say army. I wasn't expecting to have like a thousand orcs walking behind me, as cool as that would be. Um, oh, you will do. That that's the whole thing. You build your uh, army of orcs. You don't decide. Okay. So oh, I, I, I just, just thought you meant like you recruit five to your team and then you know the bus is a bit easier. Okay, awesome. No, just... so yeah, I mean at two, I've recruited one. At the moment, my like team is level five, and the place I need to take on is a hundred and nineteen. I think I said. So I have to build up my army, but they you get you have to build up your captains, but then the captains have followers. So I think there's six uh, captains you can have and then they have their, like, followers. So you're going to have all these people or orcs helping you take over the fortress that these other orcs have. So because you need to take over the the fortresses to gain back power, basically. Um, I don't know the law and whatnot of, of Mordor, so I don't quite understand who certain enemies are but i like the way the game works i like the fact that if you get into a fight with a a captain they'll if they beat you they'll remember and then next time you meet them they'll be a higher level and they'll be like i'm gonna kill you again like i did last time which i which i find really creepy like they remember you but they also run away they um yeah they 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 just i find this game are a little bit irritating because it's like after an orc has beat you so many times you have to go on avenge and every time not avenge you go on vengeance and i've done that and it's just like i get them down then they run off i get them down again they run off and i find that really irritating i don't know why um, it does it it's a statistics so again that's similar in the first one um some of them have a flea statistic right okay that that gets a bit annoying. Yeah, I remember having there was like this uh, little fat orc in the first one that every time I'd like kill his uh, guards, it just mm. leg it, and I'd be chasing him across, you know, ride, riding after him on the back of a I can't remember what they called Uruk or something. Yeah, and um, oh, it'd just be a nightmare. And essentially, <laughs> you've got to you've got to just try and corner him and murder him, and almost murder him before the other orcs. So that, yeah. so that he feels safe. Do you know what I mean? Like he feels yeah. like oh, I've got my buddies with me. I'm, I'm, um, um, you know, I, I'm secure. I guess. Um, they've all got things like some are afraid of bugs or yeah. Dogs so they have or... flaws basically, yeah. and then you have to exploit them. So some are arrow arrow proof, so you can't use arrows. So you have to get close contact with them, which is fine. I just don't understand why this this one one orc. Like I find him, I go for him, and then he runs away, and it irritates me no end because I get him down to like minimum health, and then he he runs off. That annoys me. Also, there are quick time um, instances in this, so if you are downed, there is yeah, before the where there was like where you'd have to move the thumbstick and then press the button. Now it's just a circle, and you have to press the button when the bigger circle gets into the small circle. You know what I mean? Like, closes yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's where it caught it. me out, um, because the first time I died, it said, press Y, and I pressed Y, and he'd done it. So yeah. So as I was dying the next time, I started hammering Y, and it wanted me to press X. And I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't yeah, know that was going to happen. But then instead of killing me, that's when the, the bloke just jumped out of nowhere, stabbed the orc mm-hmm. in the face, shouted for Gondor, yeah. and ran away. I kind of thought, where, where did he come from? Like, why wasn't he just yeah, helping me? Yeah, it's really weird, that is. But, and yeah, you have to wait until the bigger circle is in the smaller circle, because I only learned that today. I was like, why is this not working? And it's because the big circle needs to get into the little circle, so you, you've got a quick time event. So I've worked that out. There's, there is loot boxes. 
Now, I know there's been all this controversialness about the loot boxes, but they are not put into your face. If you don't want to know about them, you don't have to go near them. Um, if you get, I, I got one because I, I pre, well, not pre-ordered, but the, the game I got came with a code. I put the code in, I got a box and some and uh, some orcs that would follow me. Um, but you, you can, so you get this, I think there's two types of currency. There's currency you earn in the game, and then there's currency that you can buy. Gold chests you can't get unless you get the the gold, yeah, the gold uh, that you pay for, and then you can get these coins that are in game, and then you can buy certain boxes um, that are that color. So the silver, gold, and there's another color that it's like a blue color. I can't remember what it's called, but you don't have to go into it. It is it you, when you go on the pause menu, it says market. It's one of the smaller uh, choices on that on that screen. Go on it. Don't go on it. You don't have to go on it. But when if you do go on it, you can get. Um, so there's a box for like uh, weapons. There's a box for orcs, and then the other boxes are uh, level ups. Maybe I'm not quite sure because I haven't I haven't been to open them. Um, so, do you need to? Is so I'm trying to think of the best way to word it. Um there's no like collecting the orcs as in there's only a finite amount of names and you know it's almost like a uh you know in the game you'd have to get loot boxes to be fair because you'd not be able to get some of the orcs otherwise, or is it nothing like that? It's just peripheral to it. If you want to get some better elk orcs, you can pay for them. But I could complete the game a hundred percent without all that. Um, I think you can you can complete it. Like I'm looking at the at the chest now. So there's this um, featured destroyed war chest. Now there's three gold ones there, which means you have to buy the gold. So you have to go and prepay. The next ones down are bundles. So that's a, a mix of all of them. And then this war chest, which are silver, gold, and blue. The silver, the gold, and the blue are are gold. You have to buy the gold for them, and they're they're like six hundred, uh, and that so the the blue ones, you you get more boxes. So like with the blue one, you get three. With the gold one, you get one. But then there's these silver chests that um you buy through the coins that you get in game, and that there again they're war war cheats and loot crate. So I don't know. Like I've I've opened a few. I want to know it was like I was getting these coins. I didn't know what to spend them on, <clears> so I went and then had a look, and they have they have ones that you can buy for um, from in game money, which I don't mind. Um, there there is boost but again. They're both gold. There's a one hour spoils of war boost and one hour XP boost, where you get a hundred percent more XP for two hours. Yeah, two hours. So. You know, do what you want, but I, like I said, I played the first. Episode. I should have, so I am. I think I'm like level twenty, so I'm way too high level <laughs> for the area I am. Because for some reason, I do this. I don't know why, but Didn't I you thought have the opposite choice last time, where you got stuck on a low level and couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I did. I, I hated. You got it. sick of it and gave up because it yeah. was like, yeah, they trapped you. It was driving me insane. Um, so I, I ignored. I just like no, I can't. Do that. But now I'm too that high level for their that area, that. which means the loot that they drop is too low level. Uh. And the weapons, oh god. So you've got, you've got your sword, you've got your half sword, you've got your bow, you've got your armor, you've got your hood. And then you get another thing at, at some point. You get that side thing, the spear or whatever it is, don't you as well? Um, yeah, that's always just that's implemented anyway. You don't have to yeah. for that. But they range from like white to purple. Now, <clears throat> to me, in in like borderline games, the the top range things are orange. So having purple ones is like what I pref- I don't know. Just orange seems to stand out to me. But the purple one. The purple levels have, like, they're, they're part of sets. So if you have all, like, at the moment, I've got a purple sword on and I need to 
if I put what another one on, I get performer types required might consumes 40% of your max health is dead. Don't know what that means. Or if I have the whole like four set, I get something else. But yeah, they're part of sets basically. Now you can use them as sets, but they're not always going to be the right level. So like my son at the moment is a level 14, but I'm a level 20. So the the art uh, the the loot doesn't match my level, which is annoying because I, again I've gone um, too far ahead of myself because I get rid of every every cap. So ugh, what am I gonna do? So I like the loot drops. There's a lot of them. Um, you get them from Kitty Captains. You get them from loot chests if you want them. Um, I don't think that the loot chests can stop people finishing the game yeah um, i mean obviously you can complete it without them i just i guess what i'm thinking is why would you care enough to be annoyed if it doesn't really affect the game no um, like i can understand p- being able to pay for a bit of double xp just to speed it up for yourself someone like kev who just doesn't have time even though he's retired um you know it's good because he can just yeah he can just say right i'm gonna play it for two hours but get four hours worth of experience out of it um mm. You know, I wouldn't. I'd just lump it, play it, and be be worse at it. You know, I'm I, I just I'm stubborn enough that I'd keep trying to do it at a low level until I did it. But um, no, I, I can get that. I've got no problem with loot. It it it'd only bother me if it was a bit like you you can complete the game, but it's gonna kind of you're not gonna get the perfect ending or whatever mm. because you haven't got all hundred orcs that you could have got because five of them cost a tenner or something. Then I'm just like, uh, okay, yeah. I'm just, yeah. Well, no, because they're, they're proceed. Is it procedurally generated? Is that the word? I'm yeah, talking? yeah, yeah. So, so there are, there can't be a finite number. Can no. It? So basically, like what I have on my screen now is not what you have on your screen. Like my captains are going to be different from your captains. So yeah, I don't see how having the chest would would um, would change that. Like, yeah, they they're. Purple because they 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 also have a color coding so they go from white to purple. Um, but the, when I've opened them, they've been orange or purple, and I've not got anything slow at the moment. So I don't know. I, I'm not good. If if I'm gonna play it anyway, I don't care about loot boxes. They don't bother me. But I know there's a lot of people out there that are annoyed by them. I I just I just don't get it. I can see what they mean, but. I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm so, gonna... does it get the sheepdog yeah, and Anna thumbs up then? Um, is it something that's I'm worth really impressed with how by. good this looks. My wife even said this looks really pretty and nice. And I pointed out that if I had an Xbox uh, One X, then it might look better. Um, oh, but... do you have a pro? No, no, I'm playing it on Xbox One like a peasant. Um, oh, okay. But I did say I was like, Anna's playing it on a PS4 Pro, so it probably yeah, looks cause... amazing. <laughs> You're probably yeah. weeping with the glory of it all. <laughs> Because I, I have been, I've been playing over yesterday. I found out that there was a pit. Uh, that there's a 4K patch. I installed that today. It was 24 gig of oh of Jesus data. Christ! Yeah, it was massive. But I've installed it and now it looks amazing. It like yeah, I want to lick it. It looks so good. <laughs> it's so good. It looks awesome. That was, like yeah, I, 24 gig is a lot of um, yeah, data, that's but now it looks amazing. Because before, yeah, because before I was like, yeah. it looks all right. Like, because I, because he asked me if when I turn it on that I had um, not 4K. What's that other word? Oh, hey, yeah, HDR. Yeah, HDR. And I went, yeah, but just I was just like, oh, okay. Like I, I always think any better to me anyway. But I think that's any better. But then I installed this install that is on the store. Because you don't, it doesn't automatically download. You have to go and find it. So I went on the store, found it, downloaded it. it took like an hour. Kev was in bed. Yes, wind for me because if Kev was up, I that wouldn't have downloaded for hours. But um, yeah, twenty four hours mm-hmm. now it looks amazing. But um, like I know it's silly. So, but if you're into more, like get it. But I, I don't know all that, and I'm still enjoying it. Because I've been yeah, playing I it myself, so 
But um, next week is going to be difficult. I think this will just get pushed away for a while because, oh, next week is, oh, it's just so exciting. But um, we'll um, we'll have a chat about next week. I find it typical we'll... that the two games I've wanted to play all year came out in the same week. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just irritating. If uh, um. You mentioned so, South Park just then. We'll I move on. We'll move on too. to South and, Park um, shortly. That I mean, that looks perfect on my telly. <laughs> it doesn't need to be 4K. <laughs> just like a polished episode of South Park. But um, oh, it's it's so good. Um, the, the day I got it, I like threw that on. I was like, right, it has to go on now. Um, played it for hours and hours and hours and hours, and then yeah, every night since just been on it. Um, it's it is a special game. Um, so she look carry on. We can't hear you, Kev. I can't hear a word you're saying. Yeah, I gathered you can't hear me. <laughs> I think I think the other two can, can't you? Twice yes. I've tried to move on from this, and she oh, just then. keeps talking over me. <laughs> so he can't hear me now, presumably. Can you hear Kev? No. Yeah, he's he's chatting away. You can't hear him. <laughs> Excellent. Um, right, well, while we try and resolve that issue... Why can't I hear him? Tell him to shut up. He's not talking at the moment. Yeah, but t- I can hear him. Tell him to stop talking so I can talk. But he's not talking now. Yes, but tell him not to talk until you tell him he can, because he'll just interrupt me again otherwise. Well, I'm chatting just right now say to sheepdog don't talk until i tell you to sheepdog don't talk until i tell you to splendid right wwe 2k18 right, what he's saying so how are we supposed to talk <laughs> can pab can you please explain to sheepdog, sheepdog what to do sheepdog right okay kev's, kev's t- trying to say something okay. just just don't say anything until we let you back in okay just for a second splendid so while while we try and figure out what that issue is all about, I'll tell you about WWE 2K18 because I wanted to break up Modda and South Park so that we can all have a nice little chat about yeah. WWE as well. Now, me and Pab, we've both played this game um, a couple of times now, yes. haven't we, at various yes, we expos. Are. I wasn't convinced at all when we played it at EGX, was it, when we yes, played it for the first time? Yes, a few weeks ago, a month or so ago. Yeah, right? wasn't that convinced there, but we had another go on it at Play Expo. Um, last weekend, and I yeah. really enjoyed it. Probably because I won this time, whereas at EGX say, I, you beat I, me. It, it didn't feel any different to me. It felt but, exactly the same. But I think I was. Average. It's it's because I was getting the hang of it. So yeah. I was starting to figure out how the reversal system worked, how the right. how you kick out of a pin, how you break out of a submission hold. And once I got into it a little bit, I started to enjoy it. So I got it, and I am really enjoying it now. It's got a couple of really cool game modes on it that I'm I'm enjoying really rather a lot. There's a, a My Universe mode where you basically okay. get to be the general manager of whichever brand you want to be the manager of, pick your roster, plan your thing. It's like my Total Extreme Wrestling series that I do sporadically on my channel, except you can actually do the wrestling as well. So I think I might have to do something with that. But the bit I'm really enjoying is the My Player mode, which allows you to just create your character and then play through a normal career thing like you've been able to do on the wwe games for years but the difference this time is you sort of have free reign to wander around the arena between your matches so it's almost rpg like backstage you just sort of wander around decide who you're going to talk to your rivalries spark off based on who you're talking to or you can find a new tag team partner or you can just go and hit somebody with a chair and i really like the fact that it's added in this extra little bit of story element and I'm I'm sat here now wondering about uh, someone's having a match and I've just wandered down to the ring with my sunglasses on and I'm going to hit them with a chair and yeah, that'll yeah. learn them and it's it's very very cool. So yeah, anyone yeah, who's think. anyone who's on the fence about this because they've they've tried it in previous years and perhaps weren't keen, I haven't played one for like two or three years now and I think it has made a big improvement from where it was then and I'm really enjoying it much more than I have done in in previous years. Right, okay, so that's that's your thoughts on it. Yeah. My thoughts on it as it is it is exactly the same as all the other games. It is no it is not much different. Have you played it other than when we played it at the expos? I've played I've played the older ones. 
yes. But you've not played this one, this not, apart, I've from not played this one apart from the Expos. Not played this apart from the Expos. And it felt exactly the same. It, in ring, it, I think it probably is. It's the yeah, it's the it, bells it, and whistles exactly. they've added onto it that are different. I mean that that bits uh, them bits that you're talking about sound more interesting to me than the actual gameplay bit. But the meat the meat of this game is going to be in that ring, and it is not different realistically enough for me to want to buy it. I'm tempted, but I'm probably not going to buy it in the sense of it, it is too similar. But I want you to have your your little man with a northern shirt on that I can get my hulking brute to just crush. I want to squeeze your brains. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's t- the, the 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 creator stuff and character creation and all that sort of thing isn't a bad thing. But but when when the actual game itself isn't particularly fun, and to be fair, it's probably fine playing it in multiplayer. If I'm playing against you, it's probably all right. But when when I'm playing it in a whatever it is, story mode or whatever other things are in the game, it's it's not great at all, really, is it? Like I say, you make your own fun up when you play. You make your own. You make your own fun up when you play with other people. But, One yeah. thing I am interested in hearing from the listeners about because yeah. I don't know if it's just because I'm playing it on a launch day Xbox One. The load times are so slow. Really? Well, we said to, that. We said that at Play Expo. We said that at Play Expo. I said there was the the play, PlayStation one that we were playing. Yeah. Was incredibly long. I don't know time. if that was a pro we were playing. No, or it was no, a, it was standard. Yeah. So I'd be interested to hear from someone who's playing it on PC or playing it on a pro, maybe or a, an Xbox S, because it's literally to start a match, you'll get a twenty second load screen. Then it would do the theme song and music for one wrestler. Then another twenty second load screen. Then really? the other wrestler twenty second load screen. In ring announcements twenty second load screen, and then it will jutter and stutter and fumble into a match, and then it's then it's yeah. fine. But it's like yeah. two minutes of sitting through nonsense before you can get into a match. So it's it's a little bit for us, but I think a lot of that probably is because it's it's pushing what the original Xbox One is capable of doing at this point, and I imagine it will be a little bit better on a newer console. Probably, probably. And I don't know if that's going to be a, a recurring theme in games as we move into the world of the X and games coming uh, uh, out to next be fair, year. Realistically, I don't think it'll be next year. It might be the year after that, or may I don't know. They've always said that they they will bring games out and they'll work across one you know universal system of Xbox. Hmm. Uh, but similar to like the iPhone and what have you. You can't play these modern games on your on your old iPhone 3G, can you? No. Yeah, they phase, phase them out. They phase them out. So, how bloated must this be, though, that it's juddering on a, a normal Xbox when it's a wrestling game? They've uh, they've so put a lot of effort into what it looks. It's the shiniest, prettiest one they've done. Yeah. They've got they've put a lot of effort in the marketing to say, look at our new lighting and shadowing effects. <laughs> Aren't okay, they beautiful? Yeah, that is the... That is the grunty bit in it. The, yeah. yeah. So they they have got yeah. lots. Of, it is very pretty, but yeah, it it's. Is. I'd rather they just took it down a notch and had it load properly than mm. like now. I've, I, I if I went into a match now, it would take me a minute and a half, two minutes to actually get to the point where I can put someone in a headlock and then sit on the floor pressing the B button for thirty seconds, which is all I want to do. It I sounds want to like hit they that need B to do button. the reverse patch from Anna's one. Instead of the 4K patch, you need a 720p yeah, uh, that'd be fine. patch. <laughs> I, might, I haven't tried it on the, the S that we've got in the house yet. I might try bringing it in. Because I've noticed with FIFA as well, when I play FIFA out here, whenever you start a match, the sound drops out for a second, and then it sort of catches up with itself after two or three seconds, and then it's fine. But when I play mm-hmm. it in the house, no problem at all. So I think we are starting... I don't know whether it's my Xbox is on its last legs, or the orig- the Xbox One launch console in general is starting to be pushed a little bit too hard. Maybe, maybe, because... But then wouldn't I notice that on on Shadow of War compared to Anna playing... <laughs> It depends how well they're, they're optimized. Yeah, yeah I'm talking. I'm talking about FIFA and wrestling. You're talking about a proper game that they put some effort into. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Try yeah. try playing Need for Speed on it or something like that, and see <laughs> see how it holds up. Just watch it just set on fire and yeah. my house burns down. Exactly. Um, but that was wrestling. I'm enjoying yeah. it, and now you lot can talk about South Park while I hit yeah. someone with a chair. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened with the sound, by the way. Uh, you suddenly flipped back in after about five minutes. 
Um, and I was like, oh, I see. I just thought you were being weird. I didn't know what was going on. Um, I'm not going to edit any of it out either because it was brilliant trying no, to get the message. I, think... trying to, I, I was saying, can somebody please just tell him not to talk for a minute and then it'll be fine. And yeah. all I kept getting was, but he, he's not talking. Yeah, I know that, but he'll talk again in a minute. Just tell him not to. Because yeah. I've tried three times and he keeps talking over me. Just tell him not to talk for a minute and then tell him when he can talk again. Ah, uh, it was fun. <laughs> right, tell me about um, South Park. Uh, I don't want to say anything now. You stopped me. But, um, <laughs> um, no, I, I was, as I was saying before, um, it... Obviously, it looks good because it's South Park, so it's not got much to it. It's got kind of like the old one in that respect. Um, it's very shiny looking, though. And um, it, I think it's cleverer than the last one. And I thought the last one was very clever. Um, I'm loving the whole superhero, you know, playing us. Um, I, I picked a fire starter. I can't think what it was called. Pyromancer or something like that. Um, upset. Uh, Jimmy. I just got Jimmy and Timmy mixed up. Jimmy, by being a speedster, and uh, the other option didn't appeal. Um, but no, I'm loving the whole um, question to Anna about collecting the orcs. And the other one was because I suddenly nervously thought, I think there might be some, I might be wrong, but I think it, I get the impression there's a little bit of a, you can pay to play in South Park in the background. And I wouldn't be surprised if Ubisoft have done that because there's certain bits where the, the underlying premise of the game is that because you're the new kid who no one respects, Cartman sent you out to get some new followers on their Instagram account. Um, so you have to go and get selfies with everyone in South Park whilst obviously doing all the other missions and solving the crimes and stuff, um, which straight off the bat, I was like, right, so you're sending me out there to catch them all, which is all I ever want to do in any game. If you, if you, if you kick off any game about anything, it could be lumps of turd for all it matters. If you say to me, no matter what the story does, your job is to catch them all. I'm, I'm in. And that's where, what I spent the first day doing, just wandering South Park, trying to catch them all. Um, I don't think I'm that far into the story because of that, but I am absolutely loving it. And um, I need to get some house security because I've looted pretty much every house on, on the street and stuff like that. Um, how, how are you finding it, Anna? Um, it was a bit slow to start with, um, with all the, the taking pictures and and stuff, I, I like to wonder, I go in every house, every garage, and then I try and work out, like, because there's things out of reach, and I'm like, I want to get that, I don't know how. Um, so I'm pretty far, I've got like uh, two personas now, not pers- like two what yeah, you know, yeah, 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 so you're yeah, the but- the Crusher one and the Speedster and the Pyro one of them. Yeah, yeah I can, I'm a Pyro one and a Magic one. Um, I don't know what I'm like. I have a level of like like 265. Um, because you do it in a weird way. Um, it I don't. <laughs> you get artifacts and them artifacts help you gain your level. <laughs> yeah, I yeah uh, I. Just... In certain <laughs> of my character to make him stronger, and there's something a little bit uncomfortable about that because he's only eight, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> but he does forty percent more damage now. So, yeah, great. Um, um, the 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 difficulty thing was funny. Um, I didn't find it racist. I just thought it was funny that well, that was the, the way... point. It's, it's it's calling the world racist. It's not the yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. But it was just like oh, which knobheads are moaning about this? You keep bringing attention to moaning knobheads. Well, no, like I I put it on. I was like, I I will play it, but because it doesn't affect anything else really. Well, it makes people treat you badly in the game if you're black. Because oh, okay. You get treated like a normal black person does on every day of their life. People start talking to them differently and stuff like that. Well, and it's basically of if you play this as a completely white kid, you're going to have a slightly easier ride because the police aren't going to harass you every time you walk uh, in the room okay. and stuff like that. Whereas any time you interact with the police in the game as a black person, they're going to be more defensive. They're more likely to shoot you. And it's just following real world statistics uh, and okay. making a statement. But if somebody out there is looking at that and going, that's racist, then they just need a poke in the eye. I hate people. <laughs> 
who these people are, but I'm annoyed. You've you just starship troopered me. I don't know who they are, what their agenda is, but I hate them because they said something dumb. Be a great politician, Anna. See. <laughs> Um, so, okay, I, I don't know what to do. Um, the, get, the, get, the game, like the first half an hour, so your tutorial bit, we'll, we'll chat about that, is, it's really good. So, like, you, you they say they're not going to play the, the Dungeons and Dragons anymore, and you're like, okay, and it says you can't, you, like, you as a character can't play, and then you have to find a way to get to the basement, and I did that, and basically you have to... He has a um, a key thing, doesn't he, next to the yeah. door? And and the words that were co- that were on there were just horrific. For what is he like eight? <laughs> like I was just yeah. like, oh my god, yeah. it's awful. But um, yeah, I found it, and then I, I don't know why I'm there. And like the battles, they're they're different from before because you now have a grid to work with, and you can move to to certain. Uh, squares because you have a, a different pattern for each of your um, powers, and I was doing that, and then like halfway through the battle, you you all go like someone shouts car, and you all move off. I love, the yeah, street, love that. And you that. just line up and just wait, and I'm thinking, yeah, because that's what kids do. Kids play in the street, car comes, you all stand on the on the side, you all find with each other, and then and then you get back in. I just thought that was genius because. Yeah. That that's what actually happens. Like right? the, the the car drives by and calls your name like the f word and stuff to kids. Like it, it baffles me. Um, so that that was funny, and it was just, it's. I like the fact that you can move around. My favorite uh, thing from that, as an aside, is going in the basement for the first time, and all Cartman stuff's laid out in. Uh, it's like the the coon secret lair, and um, <laughs> there's the uh, Rubik's cube in the jar. Did you touch that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you not to. Yeah. Oh, well, don't touch. If if you knock that down, it'll destroy the galaxy. And then his mum's like, uh, you know, leave leave him alone. Play nice. He's like, he's going to destroy the universe. <laughs> you bitch and all this. And um, I kept pressing it. I don't know if you did. Um, no, no, I just yeah. have to. I kept pressing A, and suddenly it went no, and the galaxy exploded. <laughs> And I got game over and had to start again. I was just waiting. I was laughing. I knew that was going to happen. It was brilliant. I was just like, yes. Um, Apparently, if if you play this, like if you play it again and you don't go and find how to get the password password in, it it gives you it it um, Cartman like because it's a story. He like butts in and I think it's a Tom Brady joke. Is that his name, Tom Brady? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the American footballer. American footballer, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he 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 says a joke about him. I didn't quite get it because I don't quite understand what's been going on with him. But but that happens. So like, it knows if you try and cheat, basically, which yeah. I thought was funny. And um, when I couldn't, he asked me to go and get something. He, he kept just going, "Wow, I can't believe you don't know how. Like, you haven't found it yet." Oh yeah. yeah. I, was just, <laughs> I was exploring and trying to cause more mischief, and yeah. I got destroyed by the the eighth graders, wherever they are. Uh, I wandered wandered in front of them while they were all standing in the street and they just just destroyed me. Um, I've I've got game over in this so many times um, just because I've been playing it my own way and and trying to to break it a little bit. Um, Yeah, again, that's what I really like because it doesn't doesn't move me back far. It moves me back to like a a moment before, but Mm. um, it's it's so funny. And... um, I keep noticing little things. I'm wondering whether turning all the laptops on in every room, in every building, is making is some sort of relevant thing. It's become my little OCD now that every time mm. I go in a room, I go and turn the laptop on because there's nothing else you can do with it. But yeah. I'm just wondering whether there'll be something later on where I'll have them all... Because there's that move where you can fart and light candles. No, is it? Yeah. Have you not got that? No. Okay. So... To get the selfies with the goths, I had to help them get a book and then cast a spell. But to cast a spell, they needed candles, but their mum had taken their matches. So I was looting around next door and found these firecracker things where your character breaks wind and throws a firecracker and it explodes and sets fire to candles. So if you go in, it's got a oh, little yeah. Um, yeah, Jewish, yeah, yeah. Uh, what they're called, the, the Jewish candles. Yeah. So I just stood there setting fire to every candle on that. 
just thinking it must do something. And then when I did it, it gave me a big health boost. Um, I can't remember what it called it. Some sort of Jewish power. It just gave me a big health boost. So I was like, ah, oh, yeah. see, I knew that. Was, you know, I knew something was going to happen. I'm picking up on little things in the background and and just interacting with them. And, and it's it's very good at rewarding if you notice those things. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm loving that because that's part of the reason I'm probably a little behind <laughs> because yeah. I've been going in and just just throwing farts at everything to see what happens. Yeah, I I've just been mooching around, just do, doing. Um... The quest, like some of the areas are blocked off. You can't go certain ways because you need certain powers. Um, but yeah, I think like there's only one, uh, like one certain obstacle I can't cross yet. So um, I've still got a bit to to discover. But yeah, I'm just mooching through it. Um, I, people keep thinking it's out in March. I don't know why, but yeah, it's definitely out this week. I definitely got my. Yeah, copy. I was gonna say I've got it. You've got it. Yeah, because um, I knew there was a March. I think people are getting confused with this March because it was supposed to be at the start of this year, but now it's it's out. Um, it's in a different engine, but it looks exactly the same. Um, yeah, as I the love it. One. It looks so like. Well, it's just. If you it, watch yeah. the program, they've re- this week's no, episode no, no. of the cartoon was it's called Franchise Prequel, and it's a prequel to the game. I said I hope they'd do it, and they did do it. Um, but they they look pretty much identical because the show's quite updated and polished now, even though it's still just circles and weird shapes for the characters. Um, but you could watch that cartoon episode and then go straight into the game, and it, there's no real difference. You just look like you're playing the episode. and mm-hmm. And I love it. I just think, and I loved the fact that when it started, they were still playing the stick of truth and Cartman goes back in time and tells them all to change their <laughs> costumes and all of that. Cause uh, it just, it does make you feel like a nostalgic to being a kid as well, which is good. Like all the mm-hmm. stories you've played and um, them making superhero personas for all the characters was the, the most genius thing they, they've done out of any, I think, you know, I love that program and there's 21 seasons worth of content. And I think, Coon and Friends is literally the best thing they've done. It's, it's so good, and I'm so glad I've got this story now. Um, that's my weekend. That's, I'm just going to... You know, if, if I haven't completed it by the time we're back on the air, then it's only because I've gone on wild tangents. It's all along... Like, I, I'm worried about getting more Shadow of War time in because I want to play this so much. Mm, it is good. Um, but, yeah, the, I'm I'm just now filling time for next week because that's all I care about. <laughs> I have asked for your review copy. Um, I'm hoping oh, we got one. Um, I'm hoping I haven't burned all our bridges with Ubisoft. Uh, I don't know. I think I told. <laughs> did I tell you what happened? I told Pab. Um, yeah, I emailed yeah, them saying, yeah, yeah, I'm getting it. Um, they did apologise. Uh, I'd already bought it by the time they apologised, so I had to kind of cancel that game, which is a little bit frustrating. But um, no, I, I responded to it then going, can I make sure we're on the list? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. She hasn't responded to it yet, but I'll be polite and I'll say, can we you know, can we confirm we're on the list? Because now I know that if I poke back, they'll <laughs> at least try. Um, hopefully we'll get it. But no, I was quite impressed. I, I know that in the past I've had a little whinge about Ubisoft for, for some of the games that frustrate me that they make, but they reacted really nicely when I sort of said to them, well, I have asked for this a year ago. It's not that I'm asking for it the day it comes out. You've just not mm. responded. And they were just like, yeah, we're really sorry, Mr. Sheepdog. Uh, here you go, Mr. Sheepdog. It won't happen again, Mr. Sheepdog. They were very, very, very polite and kind and helpful. Awesome. Um So we've talked, we've just spent, nearly an hour talking about the three big new releases. Pab, have you played anything this week? <laughs> yeah, I suppose I have. Um, apart from the usual pub girl, which we don't need to talk about because I'm still bad at that game. Um, at the weekend, I picked up Everybody's Golf on the PS4. Um, so yeah, I've been and playing that. however are you finding that? I, I like golf games. I need a golf game. And it's 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 so it's a very old school style of game with the you know the free click method of like you click to start the the progress the bar going then you click it to stop it and then you click it again to get it in the accuracy thing um and that's the kind of golf game that i want i mean i don't want the you know like the ones that tiger woods became with the you know the, the flick the sticks and what have you and 
I don't need that. I'm not going to be that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it's, it's you make your own character. You make a character to begin with. It's all like anime, chibi sort of character, character creation. Um, and it, you can make them incredible detail. I gave up in the end after a while because I was spending forever just trying to make my character look a bit like me. I was like, this'll do. I've had enough. Um, and then you go, you have like this, like, it's like a resort world type place and you have like, um, it's like a, it's like a hub world sort of thing. And there's like a guy there, the, the, the golf club, like master sort of thing, headmaster type character. And he's like telling you all the what's some going on and what have you, where to go for to do this. And you go over to the, the, the competition table to go and play and go and do a, a, a round of golf. And then occasionally you'll have some, some AI character come and challenge you, um, and it's just there's just so much to do in it. There's like I think there's like there's a race track on it. You can go race driving in um, in golf carts at some point. I'm sure you can because there's a race track out there. And I'm like I don't know what that's for, but there's golf carts over there. I'm sure I'm going to get to go direct driving some golf carts in a bit. You can go fishing on it. There's a fishy little fishing mini game in it. There's all sorts in it. Um, but the golf in itself is solid. It's um, you played Hot Shots, didn't you, in the past, Kev? Doesn't sound familiar. What's Hot Shots? Hot Shots golf. It was on no. the. It was on the. I played yeah, everybody's yeah. golf before, but I don't remember Hot Shots golf. What's Hot, Hot Shots golf was what it was called over here. Oh, then yeah, I played everybody's golf on the Vita. Yeah, that's that's the same. It's the same. It's the next. Yeah. Big thing. Yeah. Um, it's just a cool game. I really like it. Um, it's it's throwing all sorts of like unlockables at me at the minute. The first thing it unlocked was a Northern shirt. And I sent you a picture of that, didn't I, Kevin, at the time? I couldn't believe... You did. We got that, that on the way home from Manchester. Immediately. <laughs> I, I played one round of golf and you've unlocked a new new uh, item of clothing. What is it? It's just a, it's just a shirt I can wear. I can wear a Northern shirt. All right, brilliant. <laughs> well, I've got to wear that now. That's got to be in my, my outfit. Um, It's just... I really... It's just a nice game just to play. You, no stress. All the uh, player are known I'm playing and whatever, yeah. It's just nice to just play a nice, simple game of golf. And I'm not even good at it particularly. It can be incredibly difficult at times. It's not even like that. I'm just absolutely blitzing everybody because I'm not. I think the first competition I've, I've played and I finished fourth. I didn't win every. I'm not winning everything. Um, but it's just, a, it's just a nice thing to go back to, just playing a golf game. There's multiplayer in it as well. There is some some cool multiplayer in it. Um there's, there's a mode that I want to talk about, which is like, um, you know, like Call of Duty and Battlefield. They have like the, they have like the operations, or you know, like the, where you've got to hold a position for a certain number of time, and you you got to get mm. your points up to a certain thing. They do that in golf. There's like four or five holes, and you're in teams of like three or four, I think it is. If I can't remember now exactly, and you've got to play a hole. You you got you you go and play at an actual <laughs> hole. You can just run around the course. Little little anime character can just run around the course. Go to a tee, tee up, go and play a hole, and if you if you get the lowest score on that hole, you take that hole, okay. um, and then you can just you can just keep going back to the start of the tee, you know, because someone can one up you and do a better score better on it uh, than you can, and you just take the hole, and you, it's just like it's like that sort of game mode in in Call of Duty where you just hold hold a point, as you so the one the one that has the most point hold most holes but at the end of the day, five minutes or it gives you a timer of five minutes wins. Um, it's just a bizarre I think it's not it's not a, like a traditional online method of playing whoever wins the whole wins it's just mm. a nice it's a nifty way of changing things up a bit and I was like yeah all right you're a clever little game man. you you know what's up and I've, I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying that one in between a grueling matches of uh, PUBG um, that's, so that's about it really I mean I'm still I've, I'll tell you what I have been playing What's I've that? gone back. I've gone back to Mario and Rabbids. And yeah. I'm slowly, I, I'm, after I taught you the tactics, that uh... I'm slowly getting it. I'm slowly getting it. I've gone through about two more, two more levels. I'm nearly at a world one now. I'm doing well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nearly at a world one. You're a uh, monster. Yeah, I think I'm. In, I think I'm on level eight in world one now. Imagine there's ten levels in it, but it's, uh, it's, some some of them are infuriating. But then when you do it, you feel like an absolute genius. You cannot believe that. I'm like punching the air going, yes, cannot believe I've just done that. 
It's so it's, it's such a cool idea. People's like eight year olds completing this and passing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there might, there, there might be eight year olds beating level one, but apparently the, the the learning curve just go ramps up quite a lot from like world two and three onwards. It just it just skyrockets and becomes a like real XCOM style difficulty. I'm um, tempted to get this now and see whether my five year old can do it. <laughs> just, 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 yeah. just, just for fun. Like I'll film him playing it and just see yeah. if he can get to world ten and complete it. Good. Um, and if he does it, then he'll do it I before me. Just, probably. He, he, he could be their tactician. Yeah, yeah. It's it's cool. I, the I'm... kids go for these days. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know, sheepdog. Sorry, I can't help you that one. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool, I'm, and I continue to play it. Um, I imagine it'll go to the wayside next week when Mario comes out, Mario Odyssey. Um, but you don't think you're getting a go on that, do you? Anna's going to steal that switch from you the moment we get to London. You're not even going to see Mario Odyssey. I I <laughs> thought to myself, I thought I know what I'll do. I'll bring my dock, <laughs> so I could just put the switch. You know it. Hmm. I won't see that switch again all weekend. <laughs> I was thinking, true. I'll bring the dot, and me and me and Kev can have a go on FIFA. Um, I would it's have not going to happen, is it? It's not going to happen, is it? If I bring the dot, because I'll be playing Wolfenstein. So, just to put that out there. Would, would you Would you play Mario Odyssey if if I brought the dock? I'm not that fast, really. Really, really. Yeah, not not next to. The woman side and Assassin's Creed. It'd be like the last on my list if we had a Switch. Wow. Just like I, love it. I played it. It was fine, but if I, do, I, I haven't got it at home, so I'm not that that fussed about it. Um, because I'm over two games. I just way way. I'm more hyped about them than a, another Mario game. Wow. That's, that's just okay. Me. Oh, good. So, so you'll be able to play it because next weekend is truly, truly meant. I can't <laughs> believe like three of the biggest games are going against each other. But yeah, it is silly. Um, <sighs> right, you've got well, we've got as a as a group four minutes to talk about all the movies, <laughs> TV, and comic books that have come got <laughs> taken place in the last two weeks. So be quick, don't waffle. What have we got? Uh, right, I'll kick things off then. Pab made me buy a comic book in Manchester. The oh, Batman it? Flash oh, button. That was very good. I enjoyed that very much. Oh, we've what, like Flashpoint sort of revisited? Um, they talked about Flashpoint. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I suppose they did, yeah. They went to see Papa Bats and yeah. kind of closed yeah. off Flashpoint, didn't they? That was amazing considering how long ago Flashpoint was that they just out of the blue went... <laughs> well, they kind off. of had to do it that way, didn't it? Because Flashpoint's what started the New 52 and the whole point of this yeah. is coming out the New 52. Yeah, so I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Um, I was a bit frustrated that it kind of just ended with and then we'll... we'll here's another big cliffhanger. We'll see you again in a year. Oh, well, what? you say a year, um, all of the uh, DC promos have been for uh, Doomsday Clock, uh, ba- uh, Superman and uh, Manhattan. And I, I don't really know because I've not caught up. I need to catch up. But um, it sounds like it's all suddenly kicking into Watchmen mode. Um, Good. And it's got to tie in. Um, speaking of DC, I don't know if you saw on Twitter the, the world war I started over Iris West. Um I don't uh, look at your Twitter sheet, yeah, dog. That, well, your Twitter's been pretty manic this week, so I can understand you <laughs> not, not seeing the abuse I got. But basically, um, with um, instead of the, I'm Barry West, and I am the fastest, Barry Allen, sorry, and I'm the fastest man alive, it started with, I'm Iris West. I was due to marry the fastest man alive, but six months ago, he went missing in the speed force, blah, 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 and I'm so sad. So then I was really miffed with that because it's all about Iris and how much it affected her that Barry disappeared. And um, episode two comes along and Iris is dragging him into therapy because every time they try and have a meal or a date or get married or whatever, he has to save the world or the city and he ends up having to go and be the... And, you know, him being the Flash is affecting their life. And somebody on like, the DC group tweeted that Barry and Iris are the ultimate couple. And I said, no... Barry's entire life would be better if she would have just died. And then (laughs) 
I have just had no. nothing but abuse, nothing but abuse since I tweeted that one message saying I wish that she'd been killed at the end of season three. Um, because, like, not trying to spoil anything for anyone, because it goes without saying it's an American TV show, but the whole premise of season three was they watched her get murdered by a villain, spent the whole season trying to stop her getting murdered by a villain, and rather than writing clever ways for her to not get murdered or for their plans to get thwarted, they did things like Barry pointed out that in the future she she was wearing a specific clothes, uh, clothing and she didn't have a wedding ring on or anything. So he proposed to her and thought, well, then she'll have a ring on. So I've changed the future, which means I can then figure out a better way to change it. But when he proposed, she was like, I'm not getting married to you just because you think I'm going to die. I refuse to wear that ring. I'm not going to help you change the future. I'm going to be really stubborn. So, yeah, I'd lost my all patience. But these these American women and girls just were going on about how much I apparently hate women in power and I'm, I'm just yeah, a sexist you do. Yeah, but all that's true. How did, true, how, how did they find out about that? Yeah, I just said, look, I know you've probably read my blog, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, I did get shot in the foot massively by my blog as well because I said to them that when Iris is at her best, she's one of the best characters in the show. There are lots of people in the Arrow universe that I hate more than Iris. And literally within three minutes of me saying that, my blog auto-posted, hey, check out my article about Flash season four, where I forgot that in that article, I wrote how I hope all of these characters get more airtime than Iris. And I literally put all other characters in the Arrowverse, Iris, and then Felicity under FIFA. So they, so a couple of people picked up on that because they were obviously looking at my profile and they said, oh, great. So you, you don't hate Iris that much, but you only hate Felicity more than her. You're a sexist pig. And I was like, oh, I can't win. <laughs> Shut myself in the foot. That all sounds perfectly fair. Um... It, it does. Although I did get apologies in the end. I won them over because I always win arguments online. Did you win them I over by them. calling them all sweet cheeks and baby? That's the only way to do it. I'd have patted him on the arse if I was there. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh um, any more for any more? Yes, quite very quickly. I watched the new Blade Runner film, Blade Runner 2049, last week. You did? You watched you... it in Manchester before we got I there on Friday. Because I got there. Did that I make was... a Spygo origin week as well? Yes. Of course. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah. It's It's very good. If you like the first one, it is very much more of the same for me because I watched the first one in the week just to get to get caught up with it. Um, what about if you've never seen the first one, like me? Um, a lot of people said you don't need to necessarily see this first one because it does explain it all at the start of like the premise of what's gone on in the first film. What if you've seen the Red Dwarf parody of the first one? Um, it doesn't matter because you'll get explained to it at the start. Anyway, is there a Red matter. Dwarf parody of the new one that I could watch instead? I imagine there will be soon. I imagine there might be at some point, probably, yes. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's, a, it's very, it's very stylistic. I feel, I feel to me, coming out of it, I felt there's, it was much more style over substance. It was just an attack on the senses again of like the you know, the colours and the the scenery and the whole everything, the music, the sounds, everything. It was just all one. Just like just let it wash over me. It's, it's something else. You come out sort of like stunned of what I've just seen, it, but. I came out like going. That's that was just an alright story. That was just alright. <laughs> and the more the more I thought about it all week, it's just sort of resonated with me. And cool. I feel I feel I might have to watch it again just just to get just to let things sink in and just like oh yeah. I don't know why it is stuck with me all week. Um, so it's really good. I really I really enjoyed it. I think it's an amazing film. Um, I know some people are saying it's not it's not great. Um, but it's getting good reviews everywhere. So all the elder uh, review sites and what have you are giving it high reviews. It's got high on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, so yeah, if you like the first one, go and watch it. Definitely, um, you don't have to have watched it, but it probably helps. Splendid. Yeah. Any more for any more? Anna, have you had any TV or movies or anything this week? I take it that's a no. <laughs> She's gone. Um, have any reviews watched? No. Uh, oh, there we are. <laughs> have any reviews watched season twelve of Red Dwarf? No, I haven't watched the first. I haven't, well, I've I haven't watched, watched bits 11. Of the first eleven. <laughs> okay, well, um, for the listener, uh, yeah, episodes one and two of season twelve have been so good. Like, as episode one started, my wife and I we were chatting about uh, what do we what what 
I hope it's not rubbish. You know, I hope they're not old. Same thing we're going to say every season um, that they they carry on with it. But first episode was great. I said, well, let's hope they haven't just picked the best story they've got and put it at the front. But then the next week they uh, you know, bumped into a ship ran by uh, the same sort of androids as what Crichton is, um, and they it was a great episode about making the the crew members reflect on how they treat the robot by making them you know be robots for a bit and uh, it was just hilarious and yeah i'm so impressed with how they've managed to take these blokes who are a good 20 odd years older than they were when they started and they've just slipped them straight back into exactly the same comedy but with all the kind of advancements it doesn't feel tired and old and aged it just feels like it's evolved perfectly and it's so funny i love it i'm really really pleased that it's being pulled off as well as it is splendid right Reminder for you all that if you want to come to meet us all and have a meal with us and say hello next weekend, you can do that by letting me know on Twitter, ideally by Monday, so I can book the table. It's at Tower Hill in London, Bodine's. It's going to be awesome. Delicious barbecue food and delightful beverages. It will be a splendid evening. So just let me know on Twitter. And you can do that by tweeting me at Lelujo. Um We also have a, a, like a podcast Twitter that I, I, other people manage at MGUK Podcast. I'm at RB6K and I tend to manage the uh, MGUK podcast one uh, just to tweet pictures of Hab. Yeah. Schwine. <laughs> Anna, where can they find you on Twitter? <laughs> oh, Mr. Lujo. <laughs> Did Wait, you... You, told me, you told me to mute. Don't worry. That was Sheepdog jumping in, not me. I didn't know that she was going to unmute back as I started saying it. <laughs> Either way, they heard it and they probably wouldn't have noticed that it was any difference. My impression was bang on. But... Pab, who the hell are you? Um, Pab 1986. We also have a Facebook group at facebook.com slash Mature Gamer Podcast. And I do YouTube things, which you can find at lelujo.fm. And yeah, go find them. They're Catch fun. up on that, surely. <laughs> yeah. When we get off air, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> it has. It's it's fun. I've got so many phone numbers now that I can't decide yeah. which ones I want to dial. <laughs> uh, let's get off air so we can chat about that because I'm excited. To See you in two more. weeks, boys and girls. A good fortnight. Bye. Was that Pab? No, that wasn't me. <laughs>